there's a lot of paranormal activity here in Beaver Dams. There's a uh, big Bigfoot are seen all the time in this area, like constantly. Um, there's UFO sightings. There's there's all kinds of strange occurrences. One of the uh, things that people claim is the reason for this is in my backyard. And I, you know, I, I don't know if it's true, but well, I know that this is true, that this used to be a cemetery, okay? In the 1930s, this used to be a cemetery. And as you can see, that is one of the grave markers right there. And it, it's turned over upside down. Now, they also use this area for a, you can see all kinds of garbage here, that this was a garbage heap. You know, I, what am I going to do? I, I didn't do, I didn't have anything to do with this. I'm not going to touch the grave marker. I assume right under this grave marker and the other ones that are, you know, face down and sort of covered by trash. I, I assume that, you know, they didn't remove the bodies. They just sort of like knocked down the, the gravestones and started throwing trash here for years. Now, personally, I think it's bad karma. I would never do anything like that. But when I bought the property, it was already here. These gravestones were already turned upside down like this. What am I going to do? The, the, the property was cheap because of it. You know, it, it, it was totally cheap. So, so I'm, I'm on a old cemetery. Everything's on an old cemetery. The barn was built on, the, on an old cemetery. What am I going to do about it? Is that causing the Bigfoot and the watermelon-headed children to show up on my property? Maybe. Maybe. But like I said, there's nothing that I can do about it. I have half a mind to take the old tombstones and turn them upside down or turn them right side back up, you know, so that they're standing up straight. You know, I, I, I think about it, but I also think like, well, I didn't knock them over, so I don't want to touch them. That's more... You know, I just leave it where it is. Like, does it? They're dead. In other words, that's what I'm saying. They're dead. What am I gonna do? There's more uh, grave grave markers right there. There's a corner of one. People are always asking me, does it creep me out that I'm, you know, my property is on an old cemetery? You know, doesn't that like wig me out? No, not really. They're dead. You know. What am I gonna do? Like, like my car. You know, people ask about that thing too. And that's because somebody committed suicide in it. But I got it real cheap. You know, so what? There's a big stain in the front seat. You know, there's a big blood stain. It, it's taken care of. What am I going to do? The car doesn't have bad karma. Come on, it's just a car. Somebody ended their life in it, left a big puddle of blood in there, and I got my Honda for next to nothing what the big deal is it's it's out there in those woods those aren't hairy hippies those are bigfoot those are bigfoot living out there not hairy hippies and they're dangerous and for some reason they like my property i don't know if it's because it's an old you know junkyard it, it was a uh dump it was a dump as you can see there's a lot of a lot of garbage still here from years of people dumping their trash. I'm not really sure why they wanted to convert the cemetery into a, a dump, but that's what they did. It's not my responsibility. And I'm not going to dig. I'm not planting anything here. I'm not digging here. Let those fucking nasty old skeletons, those carcasses down there 10 feet under, let them stay where they're at. And s same thing with the, the Sasquatch out there in the fucking woods. Stay where you're at, Sasquatch. Stay where you're fucking at. I don't, I don't need any of your shit. And, and keep that watermelon-headed bitch away from here. Seriously. That watermelon-headed kid, that is not my kid. Dad, dad. It's the watermelon-headed kid that I'm worried about. The kid st still is showing up. It's like late at night. The kid just, you know, he just appears. One He's, he's there, and then all of a sudden, he's not there. I'm not, I'm not his fucking dad, so it's, it's fucking bullshit, you know? It, it's bullshit. I'm not his dad, you know? I, <sighs> dad, dad.
Daddy. He won't leave me alone. His mother hasn't been coming around. <laughs>